Hello YouTube, welcome back to another Epic 7 Rapid View and Build Guide, where I tell you everything you need to know about a character in 3 minutes or less. Today's guest is going to be Peacemaker Furious, the first 4 star inside of the Rapid Build series, and a not so good one at that. As for sets and stats on Peacemaker, I would recommend the typical speed slash crit, or maybe speed slash defense. Typically, you will want to have crit damage, defense percentage, and speed on your right side. And as far as stat priority goes, it's going to be defense, to speed, to crit rate, and crit damage. Then maybe some more bulky stats. Even flat defense could be good here because that's really all he scales off of. And for artifacts, I would recommend the typical guiding light as always for rangers because the stealth helps out extremely. And another great option is the sword of judgment because it will give him a way faster way to build focus and he will be able to turn cycle faster. And last but not least, Unseen Observer could also be another great pick because this would allow you to S2 and do a soul burn S1 and then be able to get his skill three off right away which will allow him to be a buffer and at the same time give a small nuke with a skill 3 since the damage really isn't the best. And as for skills, so skill 1 increases his combat readiness by 15%. When it is used on his own turn, it has a 40% chance to grant an extra attack with the same skill. This damage is also proportionate to his defense. His skill 2 increases speed of all allies for 2 turns. This also grants fury for 3 turns before granting an extra turn. Fury is a defense and effect resist buff by 30% and it can't be dispelled. His skill 3 requires 5 focus, but it is an AoE attack that decreases combat readiness by 30% when the caster's defense is greater than the target's and it penetrates it. This damage also increases proportional to his defense. This also removes 10 souls. Overall, Peacemaker Furious is a pretty interesting unit. I wouldn't say it's very good, but he can be a user of those off defense pieces. He will mostly be used against units that bring Taga Hells because of his soul removing mechanics. I would say a major problem with him is that his 5 star awakening is attack and it's not defense. And he really does need all the defense he can get. As I said earlier, he does need some buffs to his multipliers to be effective because the damage just isn't there even with his own Fury defense buff and someone like A. Ross's defense buff. But other than that, if you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button as it helps me make more videos just like these. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace.